It's, a, it's amazing. Uh, you know, with all my girls, I've wanted them to succeed. And Candace has found her happy spot. And, and with my grandsons, even though I have to live their life through social media a little bit, yeah. I, you know, she's where she needs to be. Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So the woman that you just saw in that clip is my mom, Janet, who's still in uh, Utah, which is my home state. So a little while back, a company that's actually based in Utah reached out and asked if they could do a virtual reality rendering of the home that we're building here in Pueblo, Mexico. And so, of course, I said yes. However, due to some work com uh, commitments and that, unfortunately, I was unable to go up and do the walkthrough myself. So I asked my mom to go and do it. There's a couple different reasons that I asked my mom to do this. So my mom is a nurse in the States, and she also has some um, upcoming surgeries and things like like that. So with the combination of the pandemic and she's, you know, been on the first lines of that, the combination of the pandemic and these upcoming surgeries, we're not sure when she'll be able to come down and visit Mexico. However, this gave her a chance to get to see our house and what we're building down here. And um, that's what made it even more special. So uh, this is a two-part series. So in this first part, you'll see my mom walk through the house and her reaction to it. And then um, the second part, I'll walk you guys through the house uh, and in, in more detail so that you can see what the house looks like. But first things first, a special thank you to Brian and Wiz at Lens VR for putting this all together for us. And uh, if you are interested in seeing what they have to offer or using this service for yourself, I put all the information in the description below and you can even follow them on YouTube. So let's get back into this video. And if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Hi. This is my Brian. It's good nice to meet you. you. Um, we got Candace here on the camera, and we're excited to Hi. do a virtual reality rendering of her home for you. So. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. You get yeah. to walk through it. So. I know. Yeah. So um, I'll kind of give you some instructions for how the virtual reality works, so you can navigate through it and, okay. and stuff, and we'll we'll get you set up, and we can start taking you through the walkthrough so that. Candace can see her home, and you can see what it's going to be like too. So, here's your uh, your home. I'm going to show you around a little bit, and then we can do the virtual reality. So, it's a 3D CAD model. I'll show you a few a few views. Um, this is kind of a flyby of the full exterior. That roof looks amazing, by the way. Thank you again, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs> It was uh, it was fun to design it. I liked uh, being able to get those these windows in up here that should That's, help yeah. to get you a lot of light. So. I'm the most excited about the windows. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, there's the exterior view. Let me show you your floor plan. So this is the part that's complicated for people. They don't they don't see this very well and understand what's going on here. Which one's the mother in law mother suite? Yeah, which one's the mother suite? So which one do so I get a stand? When I come Diego down. has not decided which one he wants, so whichever one Diego wants, you can have one of the other two. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, but this this is a floor plan, and you know one of my you know when I, as I was an architect, one of my biggest challenges was teaching people or show, or sharing with people how to visualize and see what's going on in their floor plans. Um, it was, it was one of the biggest challenges. I'd be out there with a the tape measure saying, okay, this room's 10 feet, and I'd show them what 10 feet is on the tape measure, and they'd sit there and they'd try to think and see what it is. Yeah. And I could just tell they weren't getting it. So, so yeah, that's why I created uh, Lens VR. So I'm gonna switch over to the virtual reality rendering now. I'm gonna start that process, and let me make sure we're set up. Yeah. Okay, so it's... It's going to export this model and then put it into the virtual reality and then we'll get that set up, so. Sweet. Yeah, Fidel, I had the same problem when Fidel was explaining rooms to me and, and things like that and I was trying to visualize it. I couldn't, I couldn't visualize what my space was going to look like. And I, and I know you and I talked about it too while 
you were going through all the plans with me that I had no idea where to put things because I couldn't visualize the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the higher quality rendering. Um, right now, it's just controllable with a keyboard and mouse so I can look around and I can move around. What I'm gonna do first is place the starting location of the where your model will be. Okay. And then I can switch to VR mode. And I'll uh, show her how this works. We move around in the environment. And so this big round button is the only button you need to push. Okay. And you push that down and hold it. And if you see on the screen there, there's a rectangle kind of there on the ground. Uh -huh. And that green circle, that green circle is where you are in this physical space here on the floor. So, so I, can, I can just keep moving and making little steps and I can, I can go through doors. So get your eyes in there until they're comfortable and you can see good. Okay. Sorry, it's going to mess up your hair a little That's bit. That's fine. <laughs> it's the only downfall of virtual reality. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. Okay, so you can reach out and grab that controller. Okay. I'm going to grab this cable and make sure you don't get tangled up. That's right down to the ground like right there. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Now you can look around. Okay. There's the dining room and the kitchen's around the corner to your right. Or sorry, your left. Okay. Those stairs turned out beautiful oh, too. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I really like the staircase. Yeah. So now and I you... love the arches. The arches look amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So then turn to your left and there's the big kitchen. This is where I'm gonna be jealous. <laughs> look at my big kitchen. I know, look at that island, Candace. Am I crying? Oh <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could touch it. Oh look at all the cupboard space too. Oh, that's my dream kitchen <laughs> with the big island. That kitchen is so beautiful. <laughs> is that the pantry? Yep, there's a pantry there. Those arches though. Do you like the arches? Yes, those are nice. It yeah, I told so them I wanted open. arches and he like, he ran with it. So they were, um, like the height and stuff was all fiddle. Yeah. Dominic's bedroom will be on the main floor in my office. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at my office. Oh, cool. I set it up real nice for you. I don't know if you'll do you it did. that way. You did, thank you. It should be pretty <laughs> well, I don't know who would ever sit in my office, but that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all, of, all, all of my meetings are virtual, but that's really cool. Well, yeah. Okay, you got big windows yeah. behind you yeah. and big storage place for all your stuff. Yeah. And this can double as a future bedroom too, if needed, so. Yeah, exactly. This is a, a big room. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is bigger than the All righty, where do we go? I had to make sure they had plenty of room to grow in. <laughs> yeah. I know, because those boys are gonna be working boys. Just so you know, Brian helped us design the stairs too. The, the stairs in the roof. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. From where we were undecided. Can I move this way a little bit? Yep. So I feel like I'm right on the top of the stairs. Yeah. Oh, Don't look up. Look at those windows. Look at the arches, Candace. I know. Oh my goodness. Oh, that turned out another so TV room. <laughs> so those fun. those shadows that you see there. That will be based on if your sun is, a, or like, what am I thinking? If it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. Oh, really? So based on the direction of your home. Oh, this and, is why you asked which yeah. direction I Yeah, so it's an actual, so this is an actual sun based on. Oh, that's so cool. So you can see what kind of light will come into your house and, wow. and stuff, so. I can see, I can see Dominic and Diego sliding down that banister. <laughs> I can see myself doing that too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a pretty nice that's a, gathering area. So. It is. Big. Yeah, it is. I'm in love with that. And you got a lot of family down down there on Fidel's side, don't you, Candace? So yep, it's true. A big place. Oh, there will be a lot of family gatherings at our house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and does that lead out onto a balcony? Yeah, so you can go out there and look around too. There's my door. Oh, right the doors. Oh. I'm right outside. Yeah. 
Look at those windows. So you got to be careful because in this you can actually float. So if you walk off the railing, you'll. Be I know. That's <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, look at that. You got some easy roof access there, too. We sure do. Uh, my boys don't take advantage of that. I yeah. don't, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I know I would have. So. I think Diego would be more the conservative side, but Dominic, he Dominic would have no sure. fear. <laughs> yeah. That. He would be out there. Well, that's For cool. all of my people on YouTube land, don't worry. <laughs> we'll make sure for Put bubble wrap around that kid. Yeah. Okay, Candace, let's go check out the bedrooms. Well, yeah, because like your the bedroom you would stay in is, is up here. So, mm -hmm. do I get my own bathroom? Yeah, there's a bathroom up there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is a big bedroom. Yeah. Nice tall ceilings up here too, Candace. See, Diego can't decide if he wants this room or the one that's directly above Dominic. Oh, there's my laundry room. So you got your washer and dryer. And Does it, will it have a sink in there? Don't you have to put water in your washer? Uh, yeah, so Fidel is, Fidel's been going back and forth on how he wants to do that, but he thinks he's going to run a pipe to there. Okay. So we may not need a sink in there. Because we'll have, we'll have like an outside, um, they're traditional here, they're called lavaderos, which is what you use to hand wash. We'll have one of those, but in the, outside in the back of the house. Oh, okay. So he doesn't know if he's going to have a sink in here or if he's just going to run a connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that patio out back, Candace. Yep. So Fidel and I haven't quite decided what all we're going to do with that yet, but I think Fidel has some big plans for that back area. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. If it, especially if you have fields out there. What's right up in here in between the two roof lines? So that's a platform for a water tank, right? Oh. Okay. You call it a tinaco? Tinaco, yeah. Yeah. So that's where the tinacos will sit. And so that was one of that was one of the best things that, that Brian did with the roof. Um, the one thing that Fidel was the most excited about is he figured out a way to design cutouts in the roof so that we could put the water tanks there but that they couldn't be seen. Mm -hmm. So they're not like you're not going to see them when you're standing in front of the house like you typically would. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anything else you want to see? No, that, that is gorgeous. I probably should have warned you about your hair, Mom. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's okay. I'm good. I didn't think about that, but it makes sense. Okay, hey, so what did you think? I loved it. I, you know what? You make my heart... <laughs> Go good because she, she's worked hard, so is Fidel and her kids to get where they are. I mean, she's got a master's degree despite all the stuff that she's had to go through in her lifetime. And Fidel, and Fidel's a wonderful provider. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he works hard and he loves his boys. Mm -hmm. And you don't know how much this makes this mother's heart that she's going to have a house and that to raise her boys in. Awesome. Because it's that special. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, and when I get work. ready to build a house, can I come see it? Of course. <laughs> of course. We'd be happy to help you out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let you go anywhere else but Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at how awesome my roof is. Yeah. I know. It is yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Turn it around so you can see. For the record, I was doing really good. I only cried a couple of times, but you couldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's like her mother. We wear our, our tear ducts on our heart. <laughs> Brian, this was incredible. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to thank you enough for this. Well, it's this my pleasure. So We're happy to help.